In 2009, the Coachella Valley Water District's newest full-scale groundwater replenishment facility went into operation. Named the Thomas E. Levy Groundwater Replenishment Facility after the Water District's former general manager. Here, imported Colorado River water is being used to artificially replenish water to our precious aquifer. The valley's aquifer is currently in a state of overdraft. This means we use more water each year than we are able to replenish through natural and artificial means. In the uh, eastern part of the Coachella Valley, we have um, overdraft caused by groundwater pumping, and we need to, to supplement natural recharge in that part of the valley. The district's first efforts to replenish the valley's aquifer started in 1918 on land near Windy Point in the Whitewater River Channel. The area at Windy Point, with its coarse alluvial soil, is an ideal site for groundwater replenishment. In the early 70s, the district expanded the Windy Point facility to its current size of 19 ponds, covering an area of 705 acres. To date, more than 2 million acre-feet of imported water have been replenished there. Uh, now it's time for the, uh, the eastern part of the valley to, to get its, uh, its recharged water, and this facility will uh, recharge approximately 40,000 acre foot a year and benefit the area from La Quinta all the way to the Salton Sea. Artificial recharge in the lower valley has been problematic because of a clay layer known as an aquitard that prevents surface water from percolating into the deep aquifer. Through extensive groundwater modeling and exploration, the district found a suitable replenishment site that would benefit the East Valley. This is the Thomas E. Levy Groundwater Replenishment Facility. Uh, this, this project was put into two separate contracts, a series of basins to percolate water into the aquifer and a pump station to get the water to the basins. Both projects were awarded in May 2008 to TC Construction at a San Diego. One contract was for the pump station, the other contract was for the construction of the basins. The first contract was a 1500 horsepower pump station located on the south side of the Trilogy development along Avenue 62. This pump station has a 48 inch suction line that ties into our existing distribution system off of Lake Cuya that brings in Colorado River water into the pump station. There are four separate pumps capable of conveying 60 CFS or 39 million gallons a day from the pump station through the discharge header up over the levee and into the basin project. The basin project involved the construction of 39 recharge ponds located on 163 acres. After the area was surveyed and rough graded, a 48 inch feeder pipeline was installed to bring the water to the highest elevated ponds. The ponds are built in a culturally sensitive location. They straddle the shoreline of ancient Lake Cahuilla. The majority of the shoreline has been fenced and preserved for perpetuity. A cultural monitor from the Torres Martinez tribe and biological monitor from the Coachella Valley Water District was on site through the excavation process. With the pipe and delivery points in place, the final grading and building of the ponds was completed. From the pump station, water is lifted up as high as 140 feet and travels one and a half miles to the ponds. We bring the water in with a 48 inch pipeline to the highest cell within the basin project. There are seven different cells and the cells carry from the top pond cascade down through a spillway to the lower elevated ponds. Our 60 CFS design capacity allows for approximately 119 acre feet a day to be percolated down through the ponds. This is a conservative estimate of two feet a day of percolation rates, but we're, we're finding recharge rates uh, a little higher than that. You know, this facility is just is one more piece in our comprehensive plan, and it is a very important piece of the plan. Uh, the, the valley has a long way to go in being uh, water sufficient, and this is just one major milestone in getting us to the point where we don't have any long-term water uh, concerns in the valley.